What is going on everybody? How you doing today? My name is Jim Games and I react to videos on the internet and in today's video I will be reacting to Dollbox with the song Take My Chance. Now this is also a live video as well. It's live from uh, the Tokyo Dome City Hall. Um, I don't know much about Dollbox. I don't know much about this venue. We're going into this completely blind for the most part. I think I may have heard Dollbox one time on my live reaction show on Twitch, but that's about it. So my knowledge of these guys is pretty much a zero. We're going in blind. Uh, if you're new around here, please consider liking and subscribing. I do reaction videos every day, and I would love to have you here with me. Also, before we begin, I got a couple important links down below I got to tell you about. One is our community Discord link. This is the best way to connect with me, uh, float me music, and join a community of like-minded music enthusiasts, probably such as yourself. Also, I have my Twitch link down there as well. Like I said, I do live reactions uh, every Wednesday. People float me a bunch of links, a bunch of music, and I react to it all live on Wednesday. So if you'd like to be a part of that, check out the Twitch link down there as well. All right, let's uh, switch screens and let's get right on into this. I'm excited. People have been talking about Dollbox for a while. People have been trying to get me to react to these guys for as long as this reaction channel has been active. Um, it's one of the first recommendations I've gotten on this channel of bands I need to react to was this band, Dollbox. So we're finally getting to it now. Let's check it out. Take my chances live at Tokyo Dome City Hall. Here we go. Doors box de. Moe tsukite kuremasu ka? Abarete kuremasu ka? Motto motto. Tanoshinde kureru ka? Ikimasu yo. Take my chances. Look at that face. Picking up here. Okay, I just, trust me, I'm going to rewind so we're going to get this next shreddy part. I do not want to miss that. We'll go back 20 seconds so we can get in the flow of that. But I got some thoughts already. Um, first off, wow. <laughs> just a straight up wow. Uh, first thing that stands out to me and probably to you is the base work. I mean, this is incredibly intricate. I mean, we're getting some like less Claypool style action. Um, those strings just sound like they're about to snap off of the bass. Uh, it, it sounds absolutely incredible. That mixed together with an awesome drummer. Uh, who's doing some brutal screams back there, and then some keyboards. I love seeing a live keyboardist uh, playing the actual music. Doesn't seem like she's doing or relying so much on arpeggios, even though she's playing uh, in arpeggiated fashion. And I mean by that, she's just kind of playing the scales uh, from time to time or adding... Um an accent melody to the guitar art that's already there, uh, adding beautiful piano at some parts too. Uh, but the piano, the electronic section of his band, I dig because there's several keyboards up there, and it seems like they're doing this live, as to opposed to just hitting the space bar on a laptop. Uh, bass is definitely a standout. Bass and drums are absolutely killing it. The rhythm section is crazy. Uh, keyboards just sitting right there, adding that awesome mid section, some beautiful piano, and then this uh, this uh, contrast between two different vocalists coming in here. Uh, this main vocalist here, who has a beautiful voice, a very very strong voice. Uh, showing some great control and range uh, mixed with a brutal gurgle scream 
scream of the drummer. Uh, that was pretty intense. Uh, awesome melodies, awesome structure so far. Bass work is fantastic, and the music is tight as hell. Uh, I mean, so far, we're not even at the halfway point, and I absolutely love it. We could just put dead air on for the next, the last, the next I don't know, four minutes, and I'd be totally fine with it. Uh, like I said, we're going to take this one back because we're about to shred. Uh, I know there's some kind of major hook coming up. I heard the first couple notes, so I took it back 20 seconds so we can get into the flow of this thing. Guys, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shut up for the rest of this reaction. I'm not going to say another thing until this song is over, and then I'm going to hit you with my onslaught of thoughts because my mind is racing right now just in the first minute of hearing this song, and we have three minutes left. So if you want to hear that, stick around to the end of this video. But here we go. Let's continue. Oh, this is so good. My face is melting. I got some thoughts. Oh, I got some thoughts on that one. Uh, Dollbox. Holy macaroni. Yeah. All right. These are some fantastic musicians. I think they're all females, too. I th this might be an all another all-girl band. Um, I, th I think that they are. Yeah, they are. Um, okay. They absolutely rock. Obviously, the thing that I, I notice the most, and I'm sure you do, is, is the bass. <laughs> I mean, this is some of the best bass playing I've ever heard. Uh, it, it's absolutely wild. I mean, it's so tight. It's so punchy. Uh, there's so many notes and melodies coming at you, but every single one of them is completely audible and just like right there. Uh, it's perfect in the mix. Whoever's mixing this did an amazing job. Um, I was a little worried at first with the guitars. Let's talk about the guitars for a second because the guitars were kind of taking, um, they were taking the back seat for a while for the first, I don't know, I'd say like 70% of this song almost. And um, 
I was a little worried by that. I'm like, okay, is it just lower in the mix? Is some kind of is there some kind of mixing mistake going on here? Uh, but no, no. This is a collective group of musicians that exact they know exactly how to use sound um, <laughs> at their leisure, and uh, they do it beautifully here. Uh, what I mean by that is basically they lift each other up for certain parts. They do not overstep any boundaries. Uh, they're they're kind of they stay. They don't. I wouldn't say they stay in their lane because they're doing things that are different and expressive uh, and, and incredibly difficult. <laughs> difficult should be taken note of, uh, but they're uh, they're also kind of doing it in a way where they're not really overstepping uh, their boundaries and muddying up the sound in any way. Uh, they let each other shine without stepping on each other's feet is basically what I'm trying to say. And uh, the guitar definitely did that. We saw some awesome face melting solos, uh, incredible. The vocals here was awesome. I mean, we have three vocalists that I saw that I noticed in this video. We got the main vocalist here with the hat. We got the drummer uh, who's also kind of like a main vocalist. She's singing uh, much throughout the entirety of the song. Also hitting us with some incredibly uh, aggressive screams, uh, it, uh, curdling. It was just, it kind of hit me. I was like, oh, sh all right, well, we're, we're, we're rocking here. Uh, and then the keyboardist, um, she was also uh, singing backup vocals and harmonizing from here and there, too, which just sounded absolutely beautiful. Uh, one thing I do respect about the keyboardist, being a keyboardist myself, uh, is that she's not sitting up there with a ton of laptops and just smashing that space bar and, you know, you know, playing everything to a click, and then that's it. Uh, she seems to be playing everything out uh, live. And even the arpeggiated style of sound, it seemed like she was doing that with her multiple keyboard setup that she had, uh, which is awesome. When you got musicians that can do that sort of thing and they're not relying on that laptop live on stage, what you're going to get is you're going to get a lot more improvisation. You're going to get more like improv. You're going to get more, hey, what's the feeling of this song right now? How, what's the, you know, let's, let's just do, go into a little groove here for a second. They're able to do these sort of things. So something tells me, other than just listening to the song, just seeing them perform, that they probably put on one hell of a show from start to beginning uh, and probably mix up their songs uh, in different ways live than they do on their album because they just have that sort of talent. Uh, yeah, beautiful, awesome, uh, rocking, aggressive song. Uh, Dollbox. Man, I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself, guys. I'm kicking myself for not checking this band out sooner or not giving them enough attention because if this is any indication as to what the rest of their sound is about, uh, I'm going to be into it. I'm going to totally be into it. You know, one of my favorite bands or a couple of my favorite bands to react to are bands like Love Bites and Bandmade. And I'm kind of getting that vibe from these ladies as well. Uh, it has a little bit more of a... Maybe a current sound compared to like Love Bites, where like they take a lot of like old, uh, like retro, you know, st styles of songwriting and retro tones and, and things like that, uh, which is awesome in its own right. I, I love it; it's great. But it kind of almost gives me kind of an '80s feel. Uh, Bandmade is definitely a little bit more current with their sound, with their sound structures and, and things like that. Uh, and these girls also seem a little bit current as well. Uh, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. I, I really dug it. And is there only one? Yeah. So it's, damn, dude. So this is just you got drums, keyboards, guitars, bass, and vocalists, and that's what you're what you're seeing is what you get. I I didn't really hear too many, if any, backing tracks. There could have been something slipped in there, uh, but no. I think I think what you see is what you get in this, and what we see is some fantastic musicians. Dollbox, holy macaroni! <laughs> this is my favorite reaction I've done today. Yeah, I, I dig this. I dig this a lot. Uh, if you have other suggestions for me, other Dollbox music I should check out. Be so kind. Post it in my comments. Uh, if you want to float me some music, like I said, I got my Discord link down there below. That's the best way to get me to uh, check out some of the music you want me to check out. Uh, and also that Twitch link, you want to check that out. Trust me, uh, if you want to be part of a live show, because those are a ton of fun. Uh, but please consider liking and subscribing. It would help me out, help the channel out, uh, and I truly appreciate it. But guys, I, I don't know what to say. I I I'm almost at a loss of words as to what I just heard. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what to say. All I know is I like it. There's a lot going on. It wasn't muddy. It was clean, beautiful structure, amazing vocalist, a bass player that's on a different planet, a drummer that's killing it, and live keyboards. What's not to love? I think I'm a Dollbox fan. Guys, I'm going to catch you out in the next video. Until then, have a good night.